needs to add a little bit of uh, Weibel read. But Jesus saw the two coming, and Jesus said, the man Nathaniel, in him is a true, good Israel person. In him there is no hypocrisy. He is an honest, God-loving person. And Nathaniel questioned him, how do you know me? And Jesus said, you, I saw you under the tree, the fig tree, I saw you before Philip called you. What does that mean? Some of the scholars in the Bible have said when a mother from Israel is working, she goes out to the figs, or she goes out to work the farm. What do you do with the baby? You can, uh, if you are an Indian, you can wrap them up and put them on your back as a papoose. But in Israel, they would wrap them up and they would set them under the cool shade of a tree, of a fig tree. They would put them there. And so this story, Jesus is saying to Nathaniel, I knew you when you were a baby put under the tree by your mother. I don't know if that's the meaning of the story. I don't know. That Jesus knew Philip, that Jesus knew Nathaniel before he called them, come. Yes, I know that Jesus knew the two of them before they were born. Jesus, the son of man, the son of God, knows our life. Every day, where we sit, where we stand, where we work, where we loaf, Jesus knows. He knows where we live. He knows. He sees us. Comforting? I don't know what Nathaniel was doing under the tree. I don't know what he did there, but he seemed very, very surprised that Jesus had seen him. Jesus called him. Jesus. 
said, now I have to tell my friends. My reason for coming back here, why? I have to write my short book. I have to write so that the people in Omaha will know that God himself still is in control. Even though I died for the <coughs> five minutes, he rules and he gave me life again so that I can tell you my Savior is Jesus. She is telling her friends. She is telling her community. She is telling them that Jesus is her Savior. She is telling them, I have already seen heaven. I have already seen Jesus, now you come and see. That would be nice. I would like to see Jesus. I have seen Jesus. He has worked in my life. He has forgiven my sin. He has already touched and loved me so much that I can touch and love other people. Today, the gospel lesson, the story, Philip is called as you. tells his friend, come and see Jesus. What do you do? Like Philip, go to your friends, and maybe you have already gone before. Gone and gone and gone, telling the same friend, come and see Jesus. Maybe it will take 100 times. I remember the church in Des Moines. Uh, the one man, I continued to tell him, come see Jesus. Come to our church. The roof will not fall in. If you come inside the building, the building will stay. 